Warzone's an amazing game, and I'm enjoying it. Hope you are. Sometimes I have problems with stutter and issues with FPS. This video is going to go ahead and show you how to resolve that on the PC side. Unfortunately, this is only PC. I can get into other consoles as well. If you'd like that, just let me know down below in the comments and I can work on some more Warzone videos. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump in, show you how to fix it, make your computer run smooth. This is going to be specifically settings on your computer, not in the game itself. So a lot of times your computer can be a little sluggish and these are ways to maximize your computer for gaming. So with that said, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's go ahead down here and we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And it's this right here we wanna choose, which is settings. If you don't wanna put that there, you could also go in the search bar and just type settings and hit enter and it will open up here for you. This is what we're looking for. Now that we have this open, let's start with system. We're gonna go ahead and choose system and we're gonna click on storage next. Now that we're in storage, we're gonna take a look at your disk drive, especially your main drive, because if it is really full, it could start causing problems. I have a good amount of space, so that's not really a big issue for me yet, but if you are top pretty much full, that's gonna cause problems and slow your computer down. So you wanna make some room so the game has room to move. So with that, what you could do is click on configure storage sense or run it now. I usually leave this feature on. You click here, it'll take you to this portion, and then you just want to hit clean now. But before you do, just know this could take some time. So this step, you kind of want to save for when you're not gaming and after you finish all these other steps. Once you clean now, give it an hour to run, depending on how long your how big your hard drive is, and you should be set. Once you're done with that, go ahead and tap on this house. And let's go back in the system and back in the storage one more time. Now, there's different types of hard drives. There's SD and there are the older hard drives. If you have an older hard drive, you want to go down here and choose Optimize Drives. This will pop up here. If it says Solid State Drive, don't worry about that. It's fine. You don't have to do anything. If it's a regular hard drive, you might want to defrag it. Basically optimize, it's the new thing. So you would just analyze it, it'll let you know if it needs it, and then choose optimize. Even though it's saying it doesn't need it right now, that doesn't mean 100% sure that it doesn't. By analyzing it, it'll update it and see if it does need to be optimized. This again is something that's gonna take a long time, so only do this when you're not gonna be playing any games. If you have a solid state drive, you don't have to do anything because those drives are very good and they take care of themselves, so don't worry about that. Also, if you don't have a solid state drive, I recommend you get it. It will increase your gaming experience a lot. Huge, huge, without a doubt. Best thing you can get. So take a look at those instead of regular old school hard drive. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. We're gonna go ahead and choose power and sleep. And then we're going to go to additional power settings. Now how we got here was settings. We choose system, power and sleep, additional power settings. So this window will come up here. You want to make sure you have high performance selected. Sometimes it hides under here. So show additional plans. Just hit that arrow. See if it comes down. And you might have it to choose from there. If you don't have either of those, what you do is you just choose create a power plan, name it something. And go ahead and choose high performance next. And then you can leave turn display when you want that to happen. And when you want the computer to sleep, just leave the defaults if you don't really care and then hit create. And now I have dominate war zone plan all set up so that is another one i could choose it is going to have all the defaults correct for how i have it set up so don't worry about this this is going to make your machine run harder so it could get a little warmer in your place or something like that if you're having any problems with overheating on your computer already i don't recommend doing this i would say just stick with the balanced but i run high performance because when i game i want it to be the best it could be this is big so this is something you don't want to skip really big. 
Next, let's go out of here. Let's go back to home. So now we're in settings and now we're gonna go ahead and choose gaming. So record game clips, screenshots, and broadcast using game bar. Yours is probably on by default. Go ahead and turn it off so it looks like this. If it's on, it'll be like that. Just flip it off and you're good. That'll turn it off. Next, we wanna choose captures. And once again, record in background while I'm playing a game, make sure you turn this off. This would be recording your gameplay as you play, which will really slow your computer down. So make sure you turn this off as well. If you have this on, expect some slowness. This is kind of like games when they record your gameplay so you can watch it back like a replay system. But this is another thing that it's doing. So if you're not using the game bar, the Xbox game bar on your PC, definitely turn that off. That is all the Windows settings. Now there is something else I would recommend which is upgrading your graphic drivers. If you have Nvidia, you would just go down here, right click here, go to experience, it'll load up here. It might have you log in, click drivers, check for updates. Now mine's up to date because I just updated it today because I want it to be ready because I know there's a new Valorant update for the drivers. So that's big for me. So mine are up to date right now and I'm good to go. Now, when you're done with all of this, what you want to do is reboot your computer. You want to go to start, shut down and choose restart. I also recommend rebooting your computer before every gaming session, especially if your computer is older. It will speed everything up and make everything run smoother. With that, that's everything for the PC itself that should speed it up for you. Hopefully this takes care of it for you. If this helped, please smack that thumbs up. This channel is all about gaming tips, tricks, tutorials, how to make your gaming experience the best it can. So if you want to subscribe, it'd be awesome to have you here. If you have any other recommendations for videos you'd like to see, put it down below and I'll take a look and make some more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Here's some more videos I know you'll love.